Oh my god, Burgundians and Britons, like two really good subs. And the dude that, the dude that explained everything loses 31 points. <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. Uh, yo, like, thanks for gifting a sub to FC Vast. There you go, get the sub, bro. Then you see your tutor get rolled on his in a, on his own exam. Who's hair in AV4? I don't know. Uh, okay, Burgundians versus Britons. Interesting. Burgundians is one of those civs that started out... I think it started out weak, ended up getting buffed, and then became slightly overtuned. Then got nerfed, and is still overtuned. A little bit. It's a really strong civ, but Britain is one of those classic, extremely strong civs as well. It's a fun matchup though. Should be able to play Scout Skirm with relative ease here. Or maybe I can open Ar Archer into Skirmisher. I kind of like that approach as well. I like that approach better, I think, than Scout Skirm. Open one range Archers, make a few Archers, and then switch to Skirmishers. Wish we were playing Britons instead? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I like the more like uh, chill civs. Brits do need a nerf to be honest? Yeah, for sure. Not just for 1v1 though, for team games. They need like a small nerf to not make them the best, clearly like the best civ on team games. And then I wake up, 5.30. It's my after breakfast game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> oh, he's saying he woke up so late. Europe is actually OP though. Did I start part of the reason why I lose games? Is because I'm not European. If I'm European, bro, it's the you have everything. You literally have low ping every game. You have amazing tournament times. You get to wake up at 12 o'clock to stream. It's so good. Being in North America is so bad. I'll have to make a house. Where's my local time? It's it's almost nine right now. If you live in Germany, you have internet from the nineties. Why do they have such bad internet though? I, I I've heard about that. It's so weird. How is it possible to have bad internet at this day at this day and age? Corruption? Really? for a drush here. I live an hour from you and my internet is shit. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> Wait, I think I'm losing, I'm missing two sheep still, by the way. I didn't find them, I don't think. But like, where can they be?
He made only one militia. Wonder what's the point of that. <laughs> he wants to make one militia to force me to quick wall for like no investment. That's the idea. <laughs> it's like it's like his low investment strategy to make me over over uh, react, but yeah, personally, don't think you need to wall your bills versus Drush unless you're expecting more than two militia. Still think I'm missing two sheep, but it's fine. Kind of annoying that he kills houses so fast though. Well, what's that about? So thank you actually. Probably should just pick up horse collar with brick onions. Yeah, he definitely got value from that militia. I mean it's one one militia for one villager and some idle time. It's definitely worth it for him. I'm gonna try to get on the second range fast as well. Oh, he's just gonna tower up. Interesting. Not sure why he wants a tower. <clears throat> if he goes for a tower, I'm not gonna invest in some more military, maybe? Or maybe I do. Maybe I do and I tower him myself. Aha. Uh -huh. I can come here and tower him. Yeah, maybe I can still invest into military. Classic. Got the wall aside before I can actually consider moving out aggressively. I, mean, I have amazing farming economy, amazing farming economy right now. Maybe I just can go up to the next age. Maybe I don't need to even waste more time in, in uh, feudal age. He's definitely gonna come back here. Like I'm, sh I'm sure, certain of it. He's gonna sneak around again. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why they didn't shoot at the end there. He's sneaking with his archers, I think. No. Told you. I got another town center here, if possible. Uh, I think I should have to defend for a little bit. Oh, why are, we, why are we even farming here, honestly? Oh, 
Oh, fast inversion, nice. chance to do anything here but I, I will clear him one day I think just gotta be patient and not clear him Thank you. 
You are muted less than three. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was just saying he's probably up to imp right now, but it shouldn't matter because I'm just gonna all in castle and overwhelm him. Sorry guys. Thanks for telling me bro. <laughs> you guys are legends. Oh no, I don't want cooperation, it's fine. The other one is fine. Completely done. Look at my economy, man. Yeah, he would just call it GG now, call it. Will he still try? You have no chance. Wow, that was a big game. I mean, <laughs> a lot of pressure from him. It's kind of what he is known for. I mean, he always goes for the aggressive openings. But the, the thing is, the problem with doing that is it lets me go into a situation where all I have to do is defend, you know? All I have to do is defend, and I know I can win off economy. It's a bit tricky because he has a bad map. He's forced to forward tower, right? He's, he's forced to make a tower. Uh, but I, I kind of have a bad map too. I got my forward gold there. Not exactly the best map for myself, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think the push is really good from him to, to go for the aggressive opening, but maybe he should mix in economy earlier. Let me see the stats first before I make my mind up, though. Um, yeah, I mean, he just doesn't have enough fills. At a certain point, he's just getting overwhelmed. My economy is just too strong. So, yeah, his push was good, but he didn't do a whole lot with it. GG. Can you go in detail about how you defended there? High details? I mean, basically what I did was just try to buy myself time more than anything. I knew that all I have to do was not die, and so I used all my units to defend. And I went for skirmishes to counter the archers first, and then I went for uh, Mangonels uh, Mangonel and Monks to, to buy myself time versus the knights and the siege. 
And then I switched to Cavalier, which is my main unit. More or less just buying time, which is a big thing. And then, yeah, just trying to get good trades on defense, moving around. People think the defense is all about just like sitting back and waiting, but I was actually very active with my military. I was walking around. I was moving from side to side. 